Hello. Uh, I was just uh, on the internet and I, I ran across something that I see all the time between atheists and Christians and it's, it, it, it goes something like this. Tough questions for, are questions atheists can't answer, are tough questions for Christians, are a quick question for Mormon, quick question for Jehovah's Witness. And the one I ran across today was actually a, a segment given by um, a guy and, and his channel name is AZ Superman 01. And uh, the name of his series is Tough Questions for Christians. And he's got, I think, over 20 that I saw. Uh, I only got to check out the first five and um, I only got to observe, I checked those out and then I got some responses. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to even cover those five in this short video. So I'm going to try to cover two or three. I'm, I'm going to try to go in, into as in depth as I can. Um, but first, I would like to say to AZ Superman 01 that I appreciate your videos. Uh, I like when people put videos out there that uh, make others think, uh, no matter uh, what group. Uh, of people the questions are directed at. I like to see people having other people think and the discussions going deeper than just, you know, first and second grade type topics. Um, uh, I'll get right to it. The first question says, um, why is God powerless to forgive you after you are dead? Uh, and the response I want to give to this is, is kind of, um, I'm going to try to kind of create an analogy or like an example. Um, Basically, uh, the question is referring to if a guy sins all his life and then, die, and then dies without God, why can't in the afterlife can God say, well, um, I forgive you now, or the guy accept Jesus in the afterlife and then be forgiven? Um, basically, let's just say, for example, uh, that there is a murderer, and he slaughters an entire family of people. He goes to court to, in front of the jury and the judge, and the, they... Um, decide uh, what they're going to do and they give him uh, three life sentences. Okay, so he's in prison, he's 10 years in, and then the judge comes in and says, you know what, I've been observing you, you're a good guy, you don't seem too bad anymore, I'm going to let you go. That would make that judge very unjust and that would be a very unfair thing for him to do. What I want to remind you is that the God of the Bible, of the Christian Bible, he is an infallible and, and he is a perfect judge and his justice will be poured out on the non-believer uh, on the person who is unregenerate and and the reason why we know this is because we go to God's Word and it's it, it, it there's several passages there's one passage for example that says um, you know it talks about us walking uh, the narrow a narrow way to get through a narrow gate and the gates to hell are wide or the gates that to damnation depending on what Bible you're reading is why. Um, so basically, we're told in God's Word that in this life we have to we have to repent, we have to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord, as our Savior, as our Creator, and for everything He is, and we have to believe in Him completely with all our heart, and then, um, like I said, repent, and then you know, if you are a truly reborn again Christian, then you'll make it into heaven. Uh, if not, then you know you will be judged and obviously sent to hell. Uh, for God to forgive us in hell, like I said, it make him unjust, and it wouldn't make him the perfect judge that he is. And I don't think uh, I would want a God who would be imperfect like that. I don't think any other Christian would either. Um, the next question is, if God accepted Jesus' sacrifice as payment for the sins of mankind, then why will mankind still be punished for the crimes Jesus, Jesus' sacrifice paid? Basically what he's saying is, if there is a sinner, uh, and we're to understand that God's sacrifice on the cross covered all the sins of every man and every woman in the world, then why when a sinner dies in his fallen state without regeneration, why would he go to hell and be punished again? That would be pu punishment being served against Jesus and on the man. He's saying that's two punishments. And um, uh, AZ Superman 01, I don't know how deep your theology goes. I don't know how much you understand of the Bible. But there is a large debate that, or a big debate that goes on now. It's been going on for a long time. And it's basically, uh, in short, the Arminian versus the Calvin debate. And basically, the Arminian view is that Jesus died on the cross 
for all men for all their sins. And who, whichever man, any man in the world who decides to accept Jesus Christ as their Savior, as their Savior, is forgiven. And that's the Armenian view, that any man can be saved. The Calvinist view is that Christ died on the cross for what is known as the elect. And those are people that God has called uh, as His people to be in His kingdom. Uh, and for example, there's a scripture that reads, um, No one comes to me unless the, unless the Father who sent me draws them. So basically, no one's coming to Christ to come into heaven unless the Father who sent Him draws those few in. Uh, and that's one of, the, one of the scriptures that's used in debates as a uh, defense for Calvinism. And I myself am a, am a Cal, Calvin, Calvinist, and I, I believe that very same doctrine. Uh, it's n known today, I believe, as the Reformation. Um, so basically, um, to answer your question, Christ did not die on the cross for all of mankind, for every man. And for those men who are unregenerate, who do not accept Christ, they will take the punishment, they will take, they will drink the cup of God's wrath, wrath for themselves. And the people who are regenerate, who are saved, uh, their judgment will be poured out on Christ. Uh, so that's the answer uh, to your second question. Um, I'm going to skip number three, your third video in the series, because I think it's a really important question. I want to address it later because it's probably going to take me an entire video to answer that one. I'm glad you posted it. Um, let's see how much time we have. Uh, looks like we're actually running out of time. There's two more questions I have here, and I will try to get the, to those in the, the next um, videos, next responses to uh, AZ Superman 01. Uh, please subscribe, um, comment check out my page, whatever. I appreciate you watching all the way through. God bless.